Welcome to MMA FanCast. My name is Luke Payson, and we're here now down in Birmingham, Alabama at the Transplant Games of America 2024. This is a celebration of both living donors and recipients of organ and tissues, and I'm joined by the biggest MMA FanCast fan I know, my twin brother, Mark Payson, who's also a living kidney donor and been participating all week in various events down here at the Transplant Games of America. Every two years, um, they're in a different city and state. A couple years ago, they're at Salt Lake, uh, Salt Lake City in Utah. Now here we are in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, it's a super honor to have you on the show. I've been wanting to have you on for a while. And while this does not relate to MMA, it does relate to the resiliency and perseverance of the human spirit, as well as sacrifice and sadly suffering uh, that many people is part of life and, and to go through. And you cannot have sort of joys in life without also having sadness and, and grief. And there's certainly a mix of that. Before we get to the absolute chest full of metals, look at that sound there. Uh, let's first get to your thoughts on being able to participate in such a meaningful and uh, significant event such as the Transplant Olympics. Well, thanks for having me on, brother. As you said, I am the oldest and biggest fan of MMA FanCast, uh, but certainly as part of the Transplant Games of America, while we've only been a part of it since 2016, uh, it has been around uh, for the last 20 years, uh, celebrating uh, the life-changing impact of organ transplantation for recipients, of course, whether it's heart, lung, liver, kidneys, uh, corneas, uh, the life-changing impact it has on them, um, as well as, of course, uh, the meaningful decision of uh, families to make that decision for uh, their loved one that has passed on and in order to give that gift of life uh, to strangers. Uh, and then, of course, there's also people like me that are being celebrated that are living donors, uh, whether they donated uh, directly to a loved one uh, or a friend or whether in a chain or non-directed to a stranger as well. Yeah, and you were a non-directed Canadian donation back in 2010, and it's been fun, of course, to, to know that you um, advocate and participate in events like this. You sometimes speak on the value of being uh, a living kidney donor. And going back to 2010, um, you had told me, which I think is still kind of the most important thing, you went to the hospital, started the process, and you said, if you want to do the test and see if I could match somebody, what did they say when you said, if you could match somebody when it comes to non-directed kidney donation? Well, I definitely said, and that was Leah Valley Hospital in Allentown, that even with their list at the time at only 300, uh, that I would definitely match somebody as far as uh, kidney uh, recipient pair. Uh, the main thing about the living donor that's an advantage um, is that it's scheduled. So they can find the best match from a tissue type. Uh, they obviously did it a month's months of testing for me as far as my health and ability to donate a kidney. But then that match from 300 down to three and ultimately one uh, was done through all of their tissue typing so that that increases the chance of uh, avoiding rejection as well as scheduling it so that it's at the right time of their dialysis cycles um, on you know no travel, no middle of the night, same um, center. Uh, so that literally the kidney doesn't have to hop a plane and, and then fly somewhere else, uh, that it can just walk down the hall. Um, so that that's a big uh, reason why over the last 20 years, there's been over 7,000 living donors a year uh, that have made that choice, uh, mostly now through partial laparoscopic uh, living organ um, donation. Um, and of course, whether through directed donation, non-directed or paired uh, chain donation. And now let's get to, because that's the most important part, the value of giving life, like you said, uh, the value of life. And actually, your OPO is Gift of Life. Uh, which celebrates uh, which celebrates the the gift of life that organs do, but also the OPO is in the Pittsburgh. I'm sorry, I'm from Pittsburgh, the Philadelphia area, Eastern Pennsylvania. And yes, yes, you can't see it on my T-shirt because of all my medals, but on Luke's you can see it's Team Philadelphia, uh, which I think is backwards in the video. Yeah. Um, but it is celebrating uh, life in Eastern Pennsylvania, uh, Delaware, and Southern New Jersey is what they, the Organ Procurement Organization or OPOs, uh, essentially become the sending teams for these games. Uh, but they're doing life-saving work every day, 40 of them across the country, uh, whether it's the mountains or uh, down here in the South in Alabama, um, and all the way out to California, of course, even Alaska and Hawaii. So what we call teams, just like the Olympic style, our teams um, are essentially the organ procurement organizations uh, where we donated, where we received 
um, our ordinance. So we're a proud part of Team Philadelphia. And here you are representing Team Philadelphia. And for those that might not be able to count all of this, I did the math. You got 13 medals over the last couple of days. Uh, those are three gold, four silvers, and six bronze. What's it been like competing for Team Philly and what kind of stands out um, in, in earning so many medals? Well, it's always fun to be a part of Team Philadelphia. We travel with about 120 people. That's 12 living donors, 35 recipients, uh, 15 uh, donor families, and of course, all of our supporters. Um, so that's always exciting. I think what stands out for me uh, is yesterday during uh, track and field uh, here in Birmingham at the Crossplex, uh, which was an indoor uh, competition facility for the jumps and the runs, which is certainly appreciated with the 100 degree heat and humidity, uh, and then doing the relays. Uh, it was at the end uh, of a long day, of course, uh, but being part of the four uh, by one relay uh, mixed donor relay, meaning two women, two men, and then closing it out with the four by four relay with four uh, men donors. So our male donors. So that was that was really exciting for me. Uh, and then, of course, just spending time with you and people from across the country that have gone through this journey, either as uh, recipients or donors, um, and under you know just have that shared uh, experience and see each other every couple of years um, across the country um, and just celebrate uh, life. Whether it is through the more physical demanding activities like the biking, swimming, running, um, or things like uh, darts and Lyrics for Life, which is a singing competition. And saw somebody in the hallway this morning uh, that had a, a silver medal from poker. So there are uh, various uh, competitions for those uh, that uh, prefer that way of celebrating life. Yes, and uh, you were talking about the relays. They were super fun. The 4x4 always closes out the day. That's one of your uh, gold medals there, which is great. Um, but it was also cool to see, for me, the recipient relay. You know, all those athletes out there, that's what's really cool. All the recipients out there would likely, sadly, not even be alive without a uh, donor recipient, or if they were alive, would certainly not be medically able to run and, and do all those things. And that's really what uh, Transport Games America celebrates. It celebrates the living donors like you, uh, the donor families who have made the very sad and life-affirming uh, decision to donate uh, the organs of their deceased loved ones, many from very tragic situations. And then also to celebrate the, the life of the recipients who are now doing things that they couldn't possibly have done prior to their uh, transplant. I think of that particularly with hearts, but all of them are, are very important. But it's definitely something to see somebody out there running, but passing a baton uh, between heart recipients and things like that. Absolutely. Um, what has been the most meaningful uh, moment or celebration? Because the Transplant Games of America here, it's not just a competition. There's also very meaningful uh elements and uh, activities. Oh, absolutely. The opening ceremonies is certainly always memorable uh, because you see all the people walking in as part of their teams from across the country, uh, and that's fantastic. Uh, but I would say Saturday evening's uh, donor tribute, uh, which they do as part of these um, activities every year, these festivities every time we do them. Um, and that's exactly what you said, um, essentially uh, celebrating the life of those who passed oftentimes way too short and tragically, and also that uh, decision uh, to give hope and life to someone else by their family members during that tragic time. Um, so whether it's a, a video montage or a photo montage of uh, just some of the, the donors, um, and then of course, uh, testimonies and, and singing and, uh, and just uh, appreciation poems and things uh, by heart recipients, lung recipients, liver, kidney, um, and just seeing that, uh, obviously this time it was mainly Alabama and Mississippi recipients. When we were in Utah six years ago, it was the kind of the Mountain West recipients, but seeing that appreciation uh, at these events uh, just is a, just a tip of the iceberg of, of people living their lives every day across the country, thanks to organ transplantation. Well, it's been a special guest, not only because you're my identical twin brother, though I did get uh, most of the good looks and you got the brains. So I guess it all worked out sure. uh, in that mix that that only God could control. So it's been special. Your first time ever coming on MMA FanCast has been really special. But also, I don't think we could have covered a more significant or important life changing uh, and, and, and very meaningful event for you and also the thousands of people. That's another thing. It's really incredible to see how big this event is and also knowing that this just 
represents a very small percentage of those impacted for the better by uh, transplant per, uh, transportation um, and as uh, transplantation, as well as tissue and other things. It's not just all organs, but I really appreciate you coming on. Best skills and uh, enjoyability to everybody that's still competing. There's a couple of days days left and then closing ceremony. So I really appreciate you coming on. You have the chance to still participate in a couple other things, but we think as far as medal winnings goes, you're probably um, at what you're going to get this time. But who knows? You're playing pickleball tomorrow, so uh, that'll be fun. But uh, I really appreciate everybody watching this. Where can people go to kind of maybe get registered or start the process? Um, do they have to go to like their own region uh, as far as uh, if they were interested in doing living kidney donation? Great question. So living kidney donation uh, would be either through uh, your uh, local hospital uh, center um, or through National Kidney Registry, uh, which does the paired changes uh, chains uh, across the country. So those would be the two websites. If you're in Pittsburgh, your, your local uh, hospital center uh, would certainly have a website probably under surgery uh, for transplant. Um, and then, of course, if you have a loved one, if you're trying to do a matched or a paired donation, National Kidney Registry, NKR.org. Um, and then if you're already uh, a living donor or a recipient or a family member of a deceased donor, you can, of course, go to transplantgainsofamerica.org. Um, and see about uh, the 2026 games. They have not quite uh, gotten those scheduled yet as their focus has been, of course, uh, running through this uh, uh, very fun uh, event here, but also a lot of logistics. Um, so thank you for throwing me on the spot there. Um, but if you just Google- You rattled uh, them off perfectly. Uh, that was Oregon Transportation, there's also United Network of Oregon Sharing, UNOS, which is the federally authorized kind of um, standard set uh, for all of the centers. So when you have 40 different regions um, and hundreds of different transplant centers, um, of course, there is federal oversight there, United Network of Organ Sharing, which I just came off a three-year term on their living uh, donor committee. Um, so very important to mention uh, the work that United Network of Organ Sharing does behind the scenes to set those guidelines and, and rules and point systems and all those things for how the, the OPOs and the transplant centers then match either deceased or, or living. Well, that's very helpful information. I hope people actually take uh, the opportunity to kind of start that process if they're interested in donating. Uh, and at the very least, if you're interested in changing your driver's license, you can do that on any of the state or, or commonwealth's websites. Very easy to add organ donor to your license. Thanks so much for coming on. This has been Luke Payson with the one, the only identical twin brother, Mark Payson. Really a special time on MMA FanCast. Thanks so much for everybody for checking us out. Please like and subscribe um, on the YouTube channel. Really appreciate that as well.